Namaste conscious creators what a beautiful day well we have someone very special joining us today and her name is Noel so she's a certified nutritionist and um, we are looking forward to having her this day so let's wait for her and in the meantime i'm having a kindle free edition for all of you so go and get a copy of yours i am a conscious creator so you're not just a creator but when you read this book and you imbibe the practices you become a conscious creator dream your biggest dream believe in it take consistent actions and receive it so yes we do have our special guest right now with us hi noel hi how are you <laughs> Perfect. How are you? <laughs> see you again. Yes, it's so wonderful to see you again. Yes, of course. And so, Namaste, conscious creators. Yeah. So we have a very special guest with us today, Noel, and she's a certified nutritionist. Mm -hmm. So, Noel, tell me your journey in terms of your life journey and what made you decide to become a certified nutritionist. So, um, I've just always personally been interested in holistic. Oh. nutrition and just healing naturally um and then it wasn't until like i personally um i got diagnosed with PCOS and a lot of um doctors were telling me i should go on this medication this and it just didn't feel right to me to be like you know flooding my body with all these external things when i know that nature provides us so much medicine in it so that's when i really decided to get um certified in holistic nutrition and now what i do is i focus more on chronic illnesses because i mean i don't know how it is in india but here in the us that is the number one killer is chronic illnesses so um and chronic illnesses for the most part are lifestyle diseases that you prevent so we do um i work with clients to prevent um chronic illnesses through whole food nutrition um we do behavior change habit development and as you know like it is a mind body soul experience you have to first believe that you're going to heal in order to heal you could be feeding your body all these you know amazing nutritious foods but if you don't consciously believe that you're going to heal your health journey is going to be so much harder so i'm so happy that i connected with you because i know that you are all about you know being a conscious creator and um getting your mindset right and that is so important for any journey but especially a health journey you know yes and your essential is writing in hey ladies and my mom is also joined in noel right now it's so wonderful to have mom here her oh, name hi. is anju patel so that's my mother and um, so my mom had actually you know noel introduced me to gratitude about 10 years back but i think my calling hadn't come and she used to always say you know you always complaining and you know saying this is not there that's not there and at that time i didn't understand the power of gratitude you know mm -hmm. and about 4 years back when i started my journey of inner transformation i understood what my mom meant and i think it's so important to you know be thankful all the time and uh, it's been 4 years noel and every morning when i wake up i'm thanking everything starting from my bed to my parents to the roof over my head to the food in the fridge to my siblings to my spouse my son all my loved ones everything god has given me you know i'm in the now where i acknowledge and accept everything and i feel blessed that i've got so much which i couldn't see earlier about 10 years back because i was functioning based on a conditioned mindset and when you have a conditioned mindset you don't realize what you're blessed with in your life you know and uh, so when you start your journey of inner transformation you realize so many things which you never really saw it because i think a lot of people overlook what they've got in their life right so I, that's something that i have to be more that i try to be more aware of is when i wake up you know already starting my day with things that i'm grateful for i have a vision board that i made for like 2020 and 2021 and writing down things that i'm grateful for more often was something on it because you like you said we are ready as us so many things that we can be grateful for you know but it's just we're in this conditioned mindset where we want more and more and more all the time but already there's so much not only that we have but within us to be grateful for you know 
Right. And you know, like it's so important that about four years back when I started my journey of inner transformation, I think the most important thing is to come in the acceptance of where you are. A lot of time people are in denial. They don't want to accept what their life has been about. But I think it's about the will to surrender, you know, to surrender to your higher self and to go out into universe and then take the journey forward, you know. So that's what my journey has been about in a transformation. So I want to ask you, uh, Noel, a couple of questions. In fact, I, you know, I had some questions for you, which I'm sure a lot of viewers also want to know about this. So um, I want to first of all ask you that what should a day diet be like? Like how much should a person eat and what should the person eat? So what do you recommend? Um, on this live video, actually, I wanted to show you guys how I make um, a smoothie in the morning. One smoothies sure but i definitely um i recommend always start your day with first and foremost you need to hydrate so that's a lot of things that that's a big thing that people hear you know we get up we have our coffee we don't have water before that but we just went hours without water and then mind you coffee is very dehydrating so if you add substance like if you add lemon to your water it's making it more absorbable to your organs. So if you, by adding something like that, your organs, you know, they absorb the water more. So definitely lemon water. I personally follow that with a glass of just plain water just to get another more hydration in. And then I always recommend start your day with fruit. And that's because fruit is like the most easy to digest. It slowly begins to in our digestion. Um, and mind you, fruit is super hydrating. So like I said, you want to hydrate as soon as you wake up and fruit is so hydrating. So I personally love smoothies, which I'm going to show you guys. I make a green smoothie, but um, I love smoothies for that reason because it's quick. It's easy. I add greens to it and then that already ensures that you're getting some of your vegetables in for the day, you know. Um, and then as far as like throughout the day, I personally, I don't follow counting calories, a diet, anything like that, but I'm just very in tune with when I'm hungry, um, when my body is craving, you know, sugar, I know I might be deficient in something else. So I try to, you want to try to eat your complex carbs or carbohydrates in the middle of the day because those are going to provide you the most energy and be mindful of like how things digest and the time that um, it takes to digest in your body because you don't want to eat a super heavy meal before you go to bed and then your body isn't even really using the sleep for what it's meant to do, which is repair your body. It's using it to digest the heavy meal that you just ate. So um, in general, you definitely want to eat like a anti-inflammatory diet, which is greens, vegetables, fruit, anything um, like ginger, um, garlic, which are like antiviral things as well, because chronic illness starts from inflammation. So, um, avoiding things like oils you know high fat foods fried foods those are all gonna help you as well all right so i want to ask you a couple of questions before we make it more experiential uh the first thing is people are very fond of coffee and tea mm -hmm. right they love having coffee and tea a lot so according to you you being a nutritionist what do you suggest that how much of tea or coffee is enough and you shouldn't have more than that well in the smoothie that I'm going to make for you guys, I'm actually going to add matcha, which is a form of powdered green tea. And the difference um, with like tea in that form, like matcha and then coffee is that matcha has a slow, you know, it's not a caffeine spike in coffee. It slowly builds up and it's, it's not like you drop like again, like coffee. But um, I personally like, I do have coffee in the morning. It's just something that is kind of like my me time. And it goes beyond even just wanting, you know, I could probably have, I could probably switch to decaf because it's honestly just part of like my morning ritual where I sit there and have my cup of tea. But um, personally, there, there's like so many arguments to coffee being beneficial for some things and then not being beneficial for others. If you don't have, you know, when I found out that I had PCOS, that means my hormones were all over the place. And I cut back on coffee a lot because it's very taxing on the adrenals, which are what makes your hormones. And it's just, it's very depleting to the body at the same time. Um, I 
if you're gonna have tea, tea is amazing. There's so many herbs and like so many herbal medicines, but there's always the decaf version of tea most of the time. So if you do love tea, you know, you could have tea all day long and experience the benefits of these herbs, just have decaf because you don't wanna put, you don't want your body, the main argument is you don't want your body to be relying on this caffeine to give you your energy, you know, you should be having your energy, you should be getting your energy from within by yourself. So it's when we start to add all these, you know, it's just like sugar, it's when we have these high sugar things that then we can't even taste the fruit, the sugar and fruit anymore. It doesn't taste as sweet to us as it used to. So that's the same with caffeine. We're feeding our body so much caffeine that we begin to rely on this caffeine and then we're not even using our own, you know, our energy from our self. Right. There's a question for you, Noel, uh, which my mom is asking you, in fact. Hi, mom. Thank you so much for telling me about the power of gratitude. So um, she's asking you, what do you think about the concept of intermittent fasting? Um, I do like, I mean, I do like it for some people. For some people, it doesn't work. Every, when it comes to health, you know, health is so individual. It's hard to say that. A vegan diet is going to work for everyone. It's hard to say that, you know, a meat, a paleo diet is going to be for, or be great for everyone. So for some people, intermittent fasting does provide them a lot of energy because it gives your body time to rest and recover. And um, it is just taxing on our organs to constantly be digesting heavy foods. So you, you want to try intermittent fasting, you can definitely try, you know, doing it maybe twice a week where you fast from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. the next day. And that's like a 16 hour fast. Um, but again, I don't like saying that, oh, I am for intermittent fasting or I'm not because what works for one person might not work for everyone else. And there's so many things that come into play when you're determining what type of diet works for someone. You know, you have to make sure their hormones are balanced like me, you know, make sure or see what else they're eating. Is their gut balanced? Um, do they have other like chronic illnesses that they don't even know? Do they have inflammation in their body? So uh, it is like fasting does definitely have benefits, but you also don't want it to get to an unhealthy point where you're starving yourself or you get too into the intermittent fasting where you're not listening to your hunger cues and things like that. Right. And what is the best nutritional advice you can give anyone? Well, I know here in America, we definitely do not, the majority of Americans do not eat their fruits and veggie servings for the day. So I would highly recommend, I meet so many clients that I'll ask them, you know, when are you getting your fruit and when are you getting your veggies in? And in days, they're not even touching a single piece of fruit or vegetables. And those things, like for instance, I'm about to add kale to this smoothie. Kale is probably one of the most micronutrient dense foods that we have available. It can help prevent cancer. It can help clean the lymphatic system, helps detoxify the liver, which is, you know, all these organs that we need to keep us alive. So you could, you know, be eating horrible, but add in those things at least, please, because those are, you know, what's fueling our organs to keep going. Right. And that's something. Hi, HR. I'm okay, HR. Right. HR is there also. And so thank you so much, all of you, for joining us in this experiential, in, you know, interactive Instagram live session with uh, Noel and Amrita. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, Noel, a couple of more questions. Um, how, so if supposing people do workouts, right, how mm -hmm. can they refuel themselves after doing a workout? So definitely um, carbohydrates are going to be very important for refueling, you know, making sure that you're not sore the next time you don't have lactic acid buildup. Per, um, specifically, citrus is very good for lactic acid buildup, which is something that builds our muscles when we work out. Um, you want to ensure that you're getting enough protein. A lot of people are scared of carbohydrates. So that's why I say you need to be eating carbohydrates. Carbohydrates have glucose in them, which is our main source of um, energy, you know. So definitely fuel your body both before and after your workout. Right. And um, 
what do you think how much of fruit is too much of fruit too much fruit um personally i don't really think that's <laughs> a thing you know the sugar i think what deters a lot of people from fruit nowadays is that people are afraid of the sugar in fruit but the thing about the sugar in fruit is it's a natural sugar and it react our body reacts to it much differently than it would react to the sugar in you know a candy bar or something like that we don't have that blood sugar spike because there's fiber in the skin of what we're eating of the fruit that we're eating um overall fruit is very very healing and very cleansing to the body like i said it's very hydrating so the more that you hydrate your body the better right so your essential is writing in fruits are so good <laughs> so um, <laughs> uh okay so um do you think the artificial sweeteners are better than the normal sugar uh normal sugar being like white sugar like brown sugar like normal sugar yeah no like a white sugar so do you think a artificial sweetener is better than your white sugar brown sugar is still better but what do you think about this well white sugar <laughs> i would deter away from it as much as you can there's normally two things that i look at when i go and i'm buying products from the store first is added sugars always no matter in what i'm buying because most of the time there is added sugars because sugar is addictive so it makes you go back and buy their product you know and then of course i look at fiber too depending on what i'm buying but there are sweet sweetener alternatives that are better monk fruit sweetener is a better um alternative some there's like i'm kind of iffy on things like stevia and you know those types of sweeteners because they're just they're still synthetically made to an extent so I try to keep as natural as i can even maple syrup i might flavor it with because 100% organic maple syrup no where it's coming from honey is a great source um just in general i would be mindful of any type of sugar intake whether it's a sugar alternative or sugar in general right so do you suggest that when people wake up in the morning they start having water because when they have a lot of water all the toxins go out of the system and just flushes out the entire toxins as such and then they have what you're going to make for us right now so let's see what we're going to have something special today on our show on our session so noel what are we making today <laughs> okay so um i wanted to show you guys just very quickly because that's you know the thing that's super important for the and everyone wants something quick. I don't know if you could see. Let me put this down a little more. So, I want to make a green smoothie. Um and this one I specifically say go for the morning because I'm going to add matcha, which I told you is a form of caffeine, so it will give you like a little bit of an energy burst. You can of course omit the matcha and have the smoothie at any time that you want. But um so I'll show you the ingredients first. Uh, I here had peeled and chopped a cucumber. Um this is 1 cup of cucumber peeled and chopped. I peeled the outside of it, I chopped it up and it's about 1 cup. And my reason for doing that is that cucumbers are super hydrating. You know, when you eat a cucumber, there's it's basically water. It doesn't have much of a flavor to it. So you want to hydrate your body like I said in the morning. There's a perfect way to add even more hydration to your body. and just like a little side note um cucumber is a high vibe food so foods have different energy you know this could i could get super deep into this foods carry different energy so blueberries for instance wild blueberries they last all these crazy climates in the winter time and they're still growing so if you just think about how much energy these fruits and vegetables are carrying from the sun the resilience of them you know Anyways, fruits and vegetables and different foods carry an energy and a vibe. So the more water content of a fruit or a vegetable, the higher the vibe it's going to be. And overall that's just saying that it's going to make you feel that much better when you eat it. So here I have cucumber that I'm going to add to this smoothie. And then I'm going to add one banana. So bananas are super good because they're easy to digest which makes them good for people recovering from illness 
um, babies. They have magnesium, potassium, fiber. Um, and then I'm going to get kale. Let me grab it. So then, like I said, I like to add greens to my smoothie. Of course, you don't have to. Some people don't really like the taste of greens in their smoothie. They prefer like a sweeter smoothie. But it's an easy way to sneak in your greens and ensure that you start your morning already getting some vegetables in. So kale, like I said, it's a huge superfood. It's a cruciferous vegetable, which is probably the most important thing for us to ingest because those have cancer fighting abilities. They help um, our liver detoxify, which is so essential because we're constantly, not only from the foods that we're eating, but just from our environment, we're constantly absorbing toxins. So you want to add many, you know, cruciferous vegetables as you can to your diet. Those are things like Brussels sprouts, kale, um, wasabi, any of those like harder type vegetables normally that's what it is so i added like i said cucumber banana kale and i'm now going to add some frozen mango here um mango is also something that helps fight cancer so i personally just like frozen mango for my smoothies because it helps keep your smoothie you know colder and I add about two cups. Smoothies are also great for digestion if, you know, you need help going to the bathroom too. <laughs> Capone is rubbing in blessings on blessings. Yes, what did you say? I think Capone is writing blessings on blessings. <laughs> it's about nourishing your mind and the body. So Noel is talking about how to nourish your body. And uh, I'm an expert in terms of nourishing your mind. So they both are interconnected. And you all can make this in your house. I see how Noel is making it for your, all of us. Right. And make it every morning and have it. And nourish your body. <laughs> so now I kind of just smush it down a little bit. And then for liquid, you can add nut milk, water. I personally do half almond milk, half water. So... I'm going to get that right now. Yeah. Your essential is writing uh, mango. <laughs> so I add about half a cup of milk. And then... It looks good. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then I'll add more water. Again, hydration, 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 which is why Absolutely. I have water. Yeah. <laughs> so then there's a couple like superfoods that I essentially add to this movie. Um, fiber, ground flaxseed is something that I always add. The more fiber you get in your diet, the better for the most part. So I add about a tablespoon of ground flaxseed and you can buy flaxseed ground or you can buy whole flaxseed. If you buy ground, your body will absorb it better. So that's just a tip. Definitely opt for the ground flaxseed if you can. And it's also, it'll, it'll blend better in smoothies. Here's the matcha that I was talking about. And um, I mostly just add this because I'll have smoothies in the morning. So it good, you know, wake me up and I add about a table or a teaspoon of matcha, don't add too much. Also, matcha is green tea, so that makes it high in antioxidants. And antioxidants are what's gonna help us fight cancer, what's gonna help us fight the oxidative stress in us that builds up. Um, and then finally, I add some hemp parts. And that's mostly for, I add it for like a plant source of protein, um, it's healthy fats. And I personally just like the way it tastes. It's kind of, it kind of has like a nutty flavor to it. So then, wow, it looks so yummy and so nice. And uh, no, your essential is writing in, can't wait to see the end result. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, is there like a way to maybe mute myself so I don't have to? No, we want to hear everything from okay. you in terms of 
what you're talking about that's important for us okay so i'm going to blend it now and yeah we'll see Blending also how it looks like inside the blender. The recipe that I gave you guys with the two. I would love to see the blender right now. How the blender looks like? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. So, um, <laughs> Yummy, mummy. <laughs> I just want to point out that um, even though yeah. spinach itself, spinach is not a cruciferous vegetable like I was telling you about the kale. So I do always recommend if you can opt for the cruciferous vegetable because it just has so many. Um, benefits to us but if Absolutely. you're new to green smoothies and you don't really want that green taste you know I would opt for spinach because it does blend a little bit better and it has a little bit of a milder taste so if you want to switch you know the kale to spinach that's fine too and after all our live I'll post this whole smoothie recipe to my feed or to my story so you guys can as well um Where can they follow you, Noel? You need to mention that. Where can they follow you? Uh, at Noel's Nook is my Instagram handle. Yeah, and I'll post yeah. I things as I'm cooking. I post just tips, you know, give free value to people. Um, but again, so it was cucumber for hydration, mango, which is good for digestion, helps fight cancer, has polyphenols in it, um, kale, which is the cruciferous vegetable that. Stop like raving about. Um, what else? One banana, and then just some things that I added: hemp hearts, matcha, um, flaxseed. Which those can always be changed on. You could add chia seeds if you want. You could add protein powder if you want instead of. There's so many like little additives that you can add, and the flavor will stay the same. You know, this. The servings that I gave you, the two cups of mango and the cup of cucumber and stuff, is kind of two servings. So I'll make it in the morning, have it for the morning, and then save the rest in the fridge, and then have that the next morning. So that also is saving me time, which is another reason that I love smoothies in the morning because it's just so quick. Let me pour it so you guys can see. Yeah. <laughs> When your essential is writing in, I'm going smoothie shopping tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you must go. It's about nourishing your body and the mind. Yes. So here's a smoothie. Wow! Can I just <laughs> take my hand right inside and get that? <laughs> and there's still some. Left. I want to have it. <laughs> Yummy! It's, wow! It's so good. You know. Amazing. And it. Can you show it to us for a second? Just the glass, please. Yeah. Wow! Look at this, all the viewers. It's amazing. <laughs> There cannot be anything more healthy in, than this for nourishing your body. Wow! Yeah, you just this is amazing. Of, you just kind of feel good drinking it because it's like a green juice. <laughs> you know, you're you know <laughs> your body with all these nutrients. Yes, it's amazing. And HR is writing in. Wow, looks good. And you all must try this in the house because it's very healthy and it's very good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try it myself. So it's amazing. And um, Yeah, so I even like the glass. <laughs> That's <laughs> sweet. Too. Another tip is um, just yeah. because so many people are, it's about convenience, you know, and that's the thing that deters a lot of people from, I think, eating healthy. They think it takes all this time to make healthy meals, or it's just more convenient to go to the drive-through somewhere. You can make healthy eating so convenient too. You can create little Ziploc bags. You can put it in a Tupperware. The Ingredients measured out, put it in the freezer, and then whenever you're ready to have it, just dump that all in. To omit, you know, me going to the fridge, doing this, blah blah blah, all these steps to make this smooth. So, 
And like I said, this smoothie itself is two servings. So you already have two breakfasts from blending at one time, you know. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah, it's very good because I think you start with having a lot of water, flush out all the toxins, have the smoothie, you know, do your meditation. Because I think meditation is so important because it's about going inside and connecting with your inner self and aligning yourself with your higher self, you know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time people looking at the outside result, but what is outside doesn't really define you. You know, like basically you have to go inside and connect with your inner self. And that is so important because the only journey we have is the inward journey. Mm -hmm. And it's all about nourishing your body and the mind. And it's not just nourishing your body, you know, your mind with the good thoughts and positive thoughts, but having smoothies the way Noel is made right now. Mm -hmm. And what kind of a breakfast would you recommend, Noel? Like what kind of a breakfast they could have? A lot of fruits. Right. And do you recommend egg every day? Egg, um, I personally, I just always push fruits, 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 because like I said, they're the easiest for our body to digest. So you yeah. want to slowly awaken your digestive system. You don't want to, you know, overpower it with this heavy carbohydrate, high breakfast, high fat. You want to slowly get your body ready for digestion so then it can easily digest and absorb what you're going to have for the rest of the day. And like I said, fruits can be very hydrating. So that's and what do you recommend for lunch? Uh, what do you recommend for lunch? For lunch, I that's the time yes. that I get your carbohydrates in, like I was saying, because those will give us more sustained energy. Complex carbohydrates are like sweet potato. You could add a protein like chickpeas. Um, it depends what you, you know, if you eat, I personally eat more plant-based. I don't have, I don't really put a title on myself, but I just more so focus on getting my complex carbs and my protein through plants. Um, but that's not for everyone. And that doesn't work for everyone. If you're going to have, I would recommend if you're going to eat meat of some sort, like chicken or, you know, something else, eat that lunchtime because that does take a little bit longer to digest in your body. So you want to, like I said, you don't want to overwhelm your body right before you lay down and then your body's focusing on digesting and not on recovering. Um, so, and what do you recommend for? Do you recommend uh, eggs for breakfast or just fruits? I I personally, with my clients, I usually recommend fruits. If you want eggs, you know, everything is about moderation and balance. I would maybe say have that on the weekend or maybe one or two, twi one or two times a day. You could have um, boiled eggs, egg whites, but just be mindful of what you're, like how you're combining your foods. That's another thing that, I want to make a post on that um, on my page. So if you want to see that, follow my page too, because I'm going to post that soon. But something like fruits, for instance, you have to be mindful of how you combine your fruits because some fruits are sweet fruits, some fruit, fruit are acidic, and some are like a sub acid fruit. So you don't want to mix sweet and acid because it's going to take longer to digest in your stomach. And that, the same goes for food in general. If you're eating meat, eat it with greens because like I said, meat takes longer to digest. Greens will help push it through you faster. Um, and if you're eating starchy vegetables, most most of the time, the key is eat something with greens because greens help move things through our body quicker and help us absorb, you know, there's so many nutrients in greens that we can absorb as we're eating. Right. So what is the best nutritional advice you've given your clients? Like the said, best advice so far? Like I said, just hydrate is assen like essential because so many of us are hydrated and we think that we're hungry, but really we're just thirsty. And I'm not saying that you're, you're going to replace your meal with, you know, a liquid, but there's just so many people that are completely fatigued and we have inflammation we have our lymphatic systems aren't moving, you know, as effectively as they're supposed to because people are really getting out as much as they can, especially nowadays in quarantine, you know, people are scared to go outside, whatever it may be. So you want to hydrate, hydrate and get things constantly moving throughout your body, flushing toxins, um, helping, your or helping cleanse your organs as well. And like I said, too, before, fruit vegetables are going to be your most cleansing um the foods that you can eat you know there's a time for everything but every day 
you want to ensure that you're getting some form of fruits and vegetables, which is why I love this because it has fruits and vegetables. Even I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you, Noel, that besides nourishing your body, do you also have a regime for your nourishing your mind? Do you practice something every day? Do you practice meditation or something? I, I'm very aware of, you know, how I feel when I meditate and then when I might put that aside and like, you know, not focus on it as much. And I do feel so, so much better when I take the time to meditate and just be, even if it's three minutes, just be present in the moment, you know? Um, that is something that I wanted to ask you because <laughs> like saying, um, with any journey, especially a healthy journey, to be present in the moment. You can't, especially when it comes to holistic healing, I'm not giving you a medication that's gonna drop your blood sugar levels right away. I'm giving you healing plant foods that are gonna take a little bit more time, but there's gonna be no side effects to, to these medications. So you need to be present in the moment of where you are in your healing journey and not anticipate that you're gonna be here or that you not, you're not getting here fast enough. You know, that is something that is so helpful to holistic medication and holistic healing. So right. I wanted to ask you if you had any tips for, you know, the people that follow me and are more, you know, interested in the health journey or like how can how can we be more conscious in where we are and our journey and like this is what's meant for us in this moment, you know? everything happens for a reason right so how can we just bring more awareness into ourselves because meditation is something that i think a lot of people it deters a lot of people because it's a little bit scary and if you try you know you might not feel like you're super present and you're like you're thinking about all these different things so do you have any tips on that right so i was introduced to meditation about 10 years back by my dad but I think at that time, my calling hadn't really come in because if someone tells you to meditate, you wouldn't go and meditate because it has to come from within. Mm -hmm. Like you really want to go and meditate. You know, it has to be a calling from within, from your higher self. And so when I started my journey of inner transformation, I started with meditation. And I think let's do a meditation right now just for people to understand. And remember that meditation is very simple, very easy, as long as you have the will to surrender. It's all about surrendering to your higher self, to God and to universe. So let's do a meditation. And um, so in fact, my book cover is also person meditating. And this has got a five star rating on Amazon.com. I am a conscious creator. Dream your biggest dream. Believe in it. Take consistent actions and receive it with an open heart. And once you read the book and you imbibe the practices, you break the shackles and you fly away. Because the power is within you and each one of you are born for greatness. So now let's do a meditation. So what we're going to do is, uh, Noel, we're going to close our eyes. And you're going to put our palms on our lap. And we're going to have a straight, uh, like a straight spine. And just inhale all the goodness, the positivity, the abundance, the abundance coming in our life. Exhale all the negativity, the negative toxins, the self-limiting beliefs, the self-sabotaging beliefs. Deeply inhale all the goodness, the positivity, the abundance, the abundance coming in our life. Exhale all the negativity, the negative toxins, the self-limiting beliefs, the self-sabotaging beliefs. Inhale all the goodness, the positivity, the abundance, the abundance coming in our life. Exhale all the negativity, the negative toxins, the self-limiting beliefs, the self-sabotaging beliefs. Now I want you to just come in oneness with yourself. Let the thoughts go by if you're a beginner. There'll be a lot of thoughts in your mind. Don't judge them. Just let them go. Observe them like a watcher, like an observer. Let the thoughts go. Come in oneness with everything. Come in oneness with yourself, with your environment, with your surrounding. Come in oneness. And now I want you to visualize your 2021. 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of people. It's been a pandemic year and it's still there. But I still want you to visualize your 2021 as to what do you want and be very clear 
be very specific what you want in 2021 because universe universe likes specificity so just be specific and just visualize your 2021 and put in a lot of specificity put in a lot of emotions a lot of feelings and what you're seeing in your mind's eye it is going to become your reality because what you see there it's all reality so look at your 2021 the entire year look at february what february is going to be about look at march what march is going to be about what april is going to be about what may is going to be about what june is going to be about what july is going to be about what august is going to be about what september is going to be about what october is going to be about what november is going to be about what december is going to be about your entire 2021 And thank everything right now in your life. Just thank everything. Because you have a lot of abundance in your life right now. And all these months will give you more abundance. It's going to be an abundant 2021. Because you've already won this year. And this is your year. And now is your time. This is your year. Believe in these powers. Believe in the words, the power of the words. Believe that 2021 is your year. You will get all that you can see right now in your mind's eye. Everything. Everything is coming to you. So be a receiver. Allow it to come to you. Don't doubt it. Don't fear anything. Don't have any self-limiting beliefs. Just be a receiver. And take aligned actions. Just be a receiver. Have an open heart. And the universe has your back. And now come in oneness with this person. And what you've seen in your mind's eye is all coming to you. But remember to take aligned actions. And whatever you've seen, when you act as per that, when you take aligned actions as per what you've seen in your mind's eye, it will all be given to you. What you are seeking is seeking you. It's all coming to you. It's all coming. This is your year. Own up to it. Believe in it. And take your palms together. Rub your palms. Feel the warmth, the joy, the love, the happiness. An abundant 2021. This is your year. And bring your palms to your eyes. Awaken your senses. Feel the warmth, the joy, the happiness, the abundance the abundance coming in your life. Put your palms on your ears. Feel the, away, the, the bliss, the joy, the love, the happiness, all the abundance. Everything is coming to you this year. Bring a smile on your face. Smile and be grateful. The more grateful you are, the more this abundance is coming into your life in 2021. Bring your palms at the back of your neck. Feel the joy, the love, the happiness, the bliss. Everything is yours. All the abundance somebody else has is going to be given to you this year because you are in a high vibration and you have a grateful heart. Bring your palms together in Namaste in front of your heart chakra. Bow down. Thank your higher self. Thank God. Thank universe. For all this abundance in your life right now 
and for more coming this year. 2021 is your year. This is my year. See to yourself. I am having an abundant 2021. I am having an abundant 2021. You believe in the power of these words. This is your year. And say, now is my time. Now is my time. And when you're in oneness with everything, you can open your eyes. I love that. This is our year. And now is our time. It's mm -hmm. all coming to us. It's all coming. We just have to have an open heart and receive it. We're taking aligned action. All that you've seen in your mind's eye is all coming to you. And is all coming to all our viewers. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, I I feel so like at peace. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheru Vidipati. And um, I want you to do something, Noel. Uh, take your left palm on your heart chakra left. and take your right palm on your left palm. And I want you to close your eyes and just feel all the things you've been blessed with. Just remember every blessing which has come in your life. Everything from since you were a kid, when you became an adult, when you, till now, every blessing that has come in your life, just be thankful. Just say, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you. And I want you to feel the love inside your body. Because you are love. And just say, I am a magnet to love. I am a magnet to love. And I attract. I attract. And I attract and spread love. And I spread love. Wherever I go. Wherever I go. I am a magnet to health. I am a magnet to health. And health is wealth. And health as well. I am a magnet to happiness. I am a magnet to happiness. And I spread happiness with whoever I meet. And I spread happiness with whomever I meet. I am a magnet to wealth. I am a magnet to wealth. And wealth is coming into my life. And wealth is coming into my life. In 2021. In 2021. Just come in oneness with whatever you've spoken right now. Every word you've said has the power. And it's taken you on a high frequency, on a high vibration. And you are a vibrational being in this vibrational universe. You are a magnet. You will attract all the three fundamentals of life. Health, wealth and happiness. It's all coming. When you're in oneness, you can open your eyes. Thank you for sharing that. So, you know, we did meditation, we've done affirmations. And always the affirmation has to be the I am, you know, because when you say I am, you're owning up to every word you've spoken about. And the words have got power. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got power. What we say, what we write down, everything has power. In fact, whenever I'm doing my writing, I write with a red pen. Because when you write with a red pen, it's, it gets instilled in your subconscious mind. Red pen is very powerful. I didn't know that. That's great to know. 
people write with blue pens but red pen is it has immense power and i find that not only saying uh, i mean for me personally not only saying my affirmations writing them you know continuously helps me so much exactly and you know what you could also do and all the viewers go in front of the mirror every morning like what i do is every morning i go in front of the mirror i look at myself and i accept myself because i know i'm a magnet to all that i told you right now mm-hmm. magnet to love i am love and i say to myself i love you amrita and you know if you just hug yourself noel for a second and you just say i love you with your name you will feel that warmth that love that yes you are love so i love you amrita i love you noel and you feel like the same and just smile at yourself no matter what challenges we get in our life right every challenge is a blessing because where we are today right whatever happened to us made us who we are today and the thing is it's about living in the now because our mind only understands the time and time is past and future so but when you in your now from your now you're going in your past and reflecting on your past so you're learning the lessons you're evolving and growing as a person and in your now you're going in the future and planning your goals and setting your goals but you're doing all this in the now so noel if i would ask you do you have any struggles in the now do you have any pain in the now do you have any worries in the now you will say what will your answer be for the now do you have any worry that's something too that i'm very mindful of is when i start to get overwhelmed i ask i do ask myself like what is wrong in the now you know cuz exactly what you said it's so true there and you know when you start living you become alive in the now you become alive you become aware you know and you realize that the only thing which is there is the now there ever will be or there is is only the now because your now is from where you go in the past and your now is from where you look at the future so if your now is taken care of then everything is taken care of and you come in the being when you come in the now and you are a limitless being so if i would ask you do you have any fears in the now you will say no right and what makes you that that makes you a limitless person which you always are and will always be but the fears limit people and these fears are not even real it is an anticipation of what may happen in the future it's a probability mm-hmm. it is not a certainty and your mind wants you to be in a comfort zone so it'll keep on showing you the fears and fears and fears and a lot of people run away from their fears and then those big fears become bigger and bigger and the people become a victim so 2020 was an awakening year mm. the universe gave us this time to see whether we are victim whether we took in all the negative news all what people were saying around us what they were talking about pandemic did we come into the situation of being a victim or were we just creating right a, we've been a creator all our life noel all our life we've been creating for 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years but this book of mine is not talking about becoming a creator it's talking about becoming a conscious creator so when you look at the color the color is a conscious i am not saying become a creator because we all are creators we've been creating all our life but we've been creating based on our default system mm-hmm. based on our conditioned mindset based on the doubts the fear this book is for you to understand that you have to go beyond being a creator you know 
and it talks about overcoming your self limiting beliefs replace them with empowering beliefs come in alignment with everything because when you come in the now you become aligned with everything you come in awareness with everything you know and you live an abundant life when you're more grateful because if a person is going to keep on asking for more and more even if the person gets more the person will never be happy because when a person is moving from unhappiness to another destination he, that person is taking unhappiness so that person will always be unhappy no matter how much the person gets it and it's about you know thinking feeling and acting who you want to become people say oh when i lose weight i'm going to feel happy no right happiness has to be now mm-hmm. i so what we said in the affirmation i am happiness i am happiness and happiness is now it's not tomorrow it's not day after it's now because when you're happy now you will be happy every day of your life you know and these affirmations have a lot of power and they also have to be done in the theta state just when you wake up in the morning and just before going to sleep because you know our subconscious mind is like a land where you put in the good seed and the bad seed you know and the thing is that imagine you've got a field right and you put in corn there or you put in wheat there or whatever you want to put in and you're putting in poison it's going to spoil the entire land similarly our thoughts are like good and bad seeds and we in you know it's obviously i'm not trying to say that you may not get a negative thought but the minute you get a negative thought think of what you're grateful for in your life what are the blessings and you know we have to like take the control of our mind like it's like a steering wheel in the car so when you have the steering wheel in your hands you make the car go the way it wants to go you you're in the driver's seat you are the thinker of your thoughts nobody is instilling thoughts in anybody's mind so why not be the driver of your seat of your mind mm-hmm. and let's not attach any pain or feeling or suffering because this is all what the mind understands because the mind does not want you to come in the now because the mind does not understand now it doesn't understand now is eternity you know how many time when people look at the sky like if you would ask people oh how how's the sky looking like today people have no idea because they're not looking at the sky if we would ask somebody oh what kind of plants are outside your house what kind of trees are outside your house no idea because this comes only when you come in the now you know if we ask somebody okay so what all things are there in your room people cannot even say what's there in their room or their living room or any other room and these things whatever we buy in our life is all very short lived we buy today we're very happy but what is everlasting is the inner transformation journey the best investment anybody can ever do is on themselves and that is why nourishing your body and your mind is of the utmost importance because your body is your temple you live in this and what noel has shown us the smoothie and what she's spoken about the diet and everything is for all of you because if you take care of your body then you can do anything right and this is only one you've got if you don't take care of this then everything else is very irrelevant it has no meaning whatsoever so it just not about nourishing your mind with the positive thoughts but also nourishing your body and i would love all of you to follow noel follow her page she's certified nutritionist follow her dm her talk to her she's there for all of you Yes. and we're doing all this for co-creation we want to help as many people as possible in fact noel and i were talking the other day that how much of value we want to give to all of you we are here to just help you in every way possible because we know 2020 has been a tough year 
right now what do you say oh yeah so please i mean reach out with any questions we're just we're you know we're here to help you heal we want to share the knowledge that we have and make you just as knowledgeable you know so then you can share and it's just it's like giving and then it gives back and it gives back and it gives back absolutely and be an unconditional giver you know like everybody you know we should all be giving all the time because the universe does give you back but don't have any attachments don't have any expectations because when we attach something we get more disappointed and disheartened we are coming here as conscious creators so noel is a conscious creator i am a conscious creator and you all are a conscious creator it's the will to surrender So Noel surrendered herself in her journey in becoming a nutritionist and I surrendered in my journey in becoming you know a writer I love writing and this is my soul journey and this is not just a book with words you come across book which is just with words it's got action plan it's got questions it's got quotations i resonated with in my inner transformation journey it's got links it's a very interactive book it's got images it's got everything you need in your inner transformation journey and if noel and i are like next door girls if we could transform our lives all of you can mm -hmm. right noel so true that's what first, it is the yeah. first step like you said the first step is even if you know even if all these things are going wrong in your life start to like start small start to appreciate the things that are going right and you'll i know this for myself the more that i appreciate the things the good things i have the more good things come to me you know and maybe it's just because i'm focusing on that i don't know but no it's about what you give out is what you give back right so what you give out is what you give back what you get back because you're focusing on all the good things and whatever you focus on oil it expands mm -hmm. everything it just attracts more of it in your life mm -hmm. and you know i'm coming up with a master mind class in fact uh, which is on 13th of feb at uh, 7 pm ist on the zoom i've mentioned the link on my uh, creative and it's about law of attraction it's i'm going to be talking about the principles the fundamentals of law of attraction i'm going to be doing a lot of meditation a lot of affirmations i'm going to show you how you do law of attraction what because everything has a system and system leads to success the system is there and the law of attraction is law of action mm -hmm. you know it is law of action and it's got a process so like jim carrey right said that you know he was like he just didn't visualize and go and eat a sandwich there's a quote by jim carrey on law of attraction so you can't just you know eat a you know visualize and go and have a sandwich or a burger or a pizza you can't do that because you have to visualize with specifics for instance i have manifested my house the house i live in i got this through law of attraction and you have to be you know visualizing yeah with specifics believe in them so there is a lot of process in fact vision board you know no i've been doing it for, for about 4 years and everything has come true and this has been my vision board part 5 years back if somebody had asked me that will you be an author a five star rating i would be like no like i didn't have those plans in life but then when i started my journey of inner transformation i decided in about 2 years to start writing my book and i wrote in my vision board that this book is going to come out on my dad's birthday and i wanted to give this to my dad and to the entire human existence i know well this came out my dad's birthday wow because my dad was the one who introduced me to meditation 10 years back but my calling hadn't come in so i said okay let me may put the picture of the meditation here which has been my inner transformation journey and i wanted to give this as a gift to my dad and to the entire human existence everybody and we're so thankful for that yeah and i'm so thankful and it's been such an amazing instagram live with you and it's been such a pleasure to connect with you and uh, it's been really nice noel thank you so much and um, it's great it's really nice and 
all of you can follow noel go and follow her it's also about nourishing your body so noel is there for that it's all connected mind body soul thanks yes. again and being harmony and balance mm-hmm. and centered right thank, thank you noel thank you so much <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. It was so great to connect with Noel and all you beautiful conscious creators, all of you, and you all can follow Noel. She is very good in nourishing your body. She has a lot of recipes. You can follow her page. and it's all about co-creation it's all about going beyond yourself it's not about i me myself it's about coming together and growing together and evolving together as a conscious creator so stop calling yourself a creator you've been a creator all your life now if not now when will you become a conscious creator now is your time and practice all this on a regular basis the meditation and believe that 2021 is your year this is your year and smile look at the mirror and smile at yourself and love yourself because love has to start with you when you love yourself and you accept yourself the world loves you and accepts you so practice self love You are complete in every way possible. You are enough in every way possible. So thank you so much for joining us in this beautiful interactive experiential Instagram live of ours and thank you so much Noel once again and so Amrita Mitra signing off thank you be a conscious creator